for stopping by don't forget to subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you guys are notified every time i post a video this video is going to be a summer haul i've been dying to film one of these because it gives me an excuse to grow my wardrobe and i've wanted to go thrifting for so long but with the quarantine it just wasn't happening and everything online i had to pay for shipping and handling definitely expensive so Quarantine is finally lifting up, so we are able to go out. Stores are starting to open up with the same rules as everywhere, where only a limited amount of people are allowed to go, um, wearing masks. Um, so there are precautions, but I'm just really happy that stores are finally opening. So I went thrifting, and I found some gems that I really think are summer essential so with these i'm going to discuss my size and height and everything before so that you guys can judge from my size so i'm a 5'8 five, 5'9 five, a lot of my jeans are long and i have a lot of legs not so much torso more legs and i'm a medium on the top a size 30 in jeans and levi's the majority of the pants that i'm going to be showing are levi's so i'm a size 30 um, 30, 31, 32, depending on how big I want it to be, but I'm a size 30. I am a 5'9", so I'm definitely taller than average, and I do like my pants to either touch the floor or sit right above or right below my ankle um, for my particular style. Um, so majority of my clothes I'm going to be trying on, trying on are either going to be oversized or true to size, and that is my sizing. So for thrifting, my favorite place to go is a store called Public Butter on Queen Street West. I will link their address and their Instagram down below. They are one of my favorite places to go because every time I go, I always find what I want. They usually have everything. Even if they don't have something, you can either make it with what they have. Um, great thing about thrifting, I customize a lot of their denims that I find to shorts. And a lot of shirts into crop or hoodies into crop hoodies but whatever it is you definitely can find it there they have great selection of graphic tees and Levi jeans I feel like they're known for their Levi jeans majority of their store is Levi so if you guys are ever in Toronto and looking for a place to go thrifting check out public butter so for my stuff I am how do I explain my stuff I'm very not necessarily I feel like comfortable is a really bad word to say. My style is more chill, comfortable than anything, unless I'm going out or like to an actual like event or dinner, I will dress up. But for an every day to day, I'm definitely more comfortable. I like mom jeans, more baggy jeans, very 2000s. That is how I can describe my style. I am very 2000s, like honey, <laughs> like the movie Honey, um, J-Lo, um, low ride oversized pants with like a cute little yeah that's my style i'm very very 2000s that's where i'm comfortable and i feel like because i didn't live through that era my style is now reflecting through that so yeah i like that my style is very 2000s i like that when people ask yeah so enough to chat let's get into the video so first off let's start with the jeans so all the jeans that I try on are going to be from Public Butter, so let's start with the shorts. These are now my second favorite shorts. I had my favorite one on in a try-on haul, which were actually shorts, which were actually jeans that I turned into shorts, which became my favorite shorts, and they've been all over the world with me, those are my favorite shorts. Ever. But these are definitely super cheap.
the Levi's 560 loose fit tapered leg. I've not customized these, these came as is and it fits perfectly. One thing about thrifting Levi's is that they actually make me look like I have a butt. I have a butt, but not like a butt butt. These jeans give me a butt butt. They are somewhat distressed. I love the the vintage like wash of it. This dress at the bottom and on the top, these are so comfortable and I can wear them every day if I really wanted to. These are just so comfortable and they're an essential. Everyone needs a black denim. Any top, any shoes. That's the one thing about black denim is that they kind of go with just any and everything that you want, especially when they're comfortable because I can wear these however I want and I will always, always be comfortable. And the material isn't like the harsh, stiff denim. This is definitely more loose. And I just love that they're vintage because they have more of like a character or like a story to them. Thrift you some dark denims. Go thrifting and find you denim that actually makes you comfortable instead of super tight or super stiff. I can't wear stiff jeans. I feel so uncomfortable and I look uncomfortable. She has this story. I'm just gonna add to it, love. Okay, last for denim, my favorite pair. These are my ideal 2000 look from like back in the days when everyone wore jeans around like their hips. Very honey with the waist beads and like wife beater with the no bra look with some lip gloss and some big hoops. This right here is it. These are the Ralph Laurens. I don't know if these are men or women's jeans, but baby. These are currently my favorite, favorite pair of jeans. I haven't worn them yet because I need the perfect outfit for them. And it's really going to be either from the Honey movie or something in the 2000s. It's going to be with a cropped wife beater and popping lip gloss. And I'm talking the clear lip gloss that you can get at the dollar store because this gives me that vibes. When I create an outfit for this, I will definitely post a picture on Instagram. You guys should follow me over there. I will link it down below. But these are currently my favorite jeans. They're so vintage, I love. I don't even know this, if this is a legitimate pocket, but it has like those side pockets. The pockets are so deep and it sits right at my, my hip. So it's perfect put on some Fenty Beauty body lava with my waist beads and a, and a lollipop. Oh my God, I have a vision. When I create it, guys, it's going to be sick. <laughs> Next, I found these linen pants at Zara and I was trying to add to my wardrobe something more girly in kind of way. Um, I really didn't know that they were going to be as comfortable as they were because I thought that the fabric wouldn't be comfortable but I really wanted to get something to add just so I'm not always wearing mom jeans or denims or like oversized or like skinny jeans so I picked these up did not know what to expect it was on sale for $20 I was like of course I'm going to get it and they're flared so I can either dress this bitch up or dress it down I can wear slippers I think I can wear sneakers but because they're so flared it will cover it but I just love the color. I don't think the camera is gonna pick it up properly, but it's like a cream color, high-waisted. These are so comfortable and they're stretchy. I am so happy. They're so freeing and they're so light, so it's not like the heavy material. Super lightweight, flared, stretchy. I can do gymnastics in these if I wanted to. They're so comfortable and I feel like I can dress this up with a pair of heels and a blazer, or I can dress this down with a crop top and sneakers. So, yeah, they're super long. I don't know if I'm going to hem them. I'm not done. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to hem them or I'm going to leave them. <laughs> he wants to hang out. Um, yes, I'm not sure if I'm going to hem them or leave them, but I feel like if I leave them, they're going to get really gross and nasty at the bottom. But we will see. Next are the tops. I'm currently wearing one, which is this white crop top from Zara. 
it's super comfortable when i did the try on section i kept it on because it was so comfortable i still see you i feel like everyone has their crop top style i definitely do like the the straight line and the super super skinny spaghetti strap i do have large boobs so i went a size down it fits perfectly i can wear these with the linen pants i can wear them with shorts i can wear them with oversized denim super cute these are definitely an essential and i think i have 30. i love crop tops it's the way of life it is what it is super soft i think it's cotton it is a little see-through so if you're not you know okay with having light show through then definitely do not get it um i don't know if the black one is the same but the white one is definitely see-through but other than that love it next is this basic black t-shirt that i got this was thrifted as well and it's just super basic it's a little distressed because it has like the little full detailing look very easy and i love these because they go perfectly with my biker shorts and it's like that effortless outfit even though it's kind of trend and i wear these with my shorts as well that i thrifted super cute super comfortable i like the i think it's cotton and i love the collar because the collar as well is distressed wear my hair up with a cute little necklace and call it a fit i don't know what this is oh that's pink i'm telling you thrift it has character i love 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 and i've been looking for a basic black t-shirt that's not like that fresh black crisp out of the store color so when i saw this i had to get it next is this i'm going to say it's a, a dad shirt coolest dad shirt i got i was looking for an, a hawaiian one which i still do want to get but i love this shirt it's so dad and i can wear it either tied or straight with a crop top underneath or i can actually wear it as a shirt but i'm obsessed with this shirt and it's super lightweight so in the summer if i leave it open i can get air if i tie it up i can undo some of the buttons have it super cute and airy and i feel like for the summer it's made in thailand i have a piece of thailand um and i feel like if i completely forgot what i was going to say i can go golfing with this i think it is golf yeah it says golf i can golf in this this is going to be my golfing shirt if i ever go golfing most likely like the putting edge not like actual golfing i will wear this shirt because the shirt is definitely super cool with some like air force ones or even slippers i can still wear these with shorts and slippers next is my ultimate favorite when i mean favorite this brought tears to my eyes when i found it because this is my entire childhood growing up in jamaica if you did not know i was born and raised in jamaica and this show got me through everything i remember so much of my life around this show i'm not even gonna get into depth this shirt is everything to me <laughs> i know i'm grown and i almost cried over a shirt actually i went downtown the other day and um i saw this guy with um basically like a cartoon network tattoo he, he had dexter's laboratory and he had johnny bravo and it looked just like them and the fact that the artist actually nailed it i freaked out so with that being said this was part of the cartoon network and this was my favorite show growing up next to powerpuff girls don't get it twisted favorite shirt favorite shirt i don't even care if it's comfortable or not it's literally arnold and it's me because that's me just listening to music vibing out who cares what anyone is, what else is happening in the world this is he's my mood and he was super chill in the show and just like not that he didn't care he was just like zoned out and i loved it headphones on world out that is me i love this shirt so much i have nothing bad to say about it everything good anything you can think think of that is positive i have to say about this shirt if you see me wearing this more than once don't say anything just so you know it's my favorite shirt and he does the foot tapping thing in the I'm, I'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop i'm going to stop i have been dying to grow my shoe collection for a while and i just never bit the bullet but i did and it was great <laughs> First off are these babies. 
I've wanted these for a while, but I didn't know what style to get. I got these as a gift and I'm so happy I got them because I've wanted them for so long. So the fact that someone else bought them for me was just like, okay. And I love the red and the blue. It's so cute. I'm so excited. These are so comfortable. I do hair for a living and I stand on my feet majority of the day. So finding shoes that are comfortable is an essential in my life. These bad boys. love i know i'm most likely like late to the game because everyone has a beer cortez but these are my first and i'm super excited to rock these next up i feel like after quarantine everything kind of went on sale and it's not even really after because it's still a thing but every store is having the biggest sale ever i went to like a little burgundy and i'm a converse wearer majority of my shoes are converse so when i saw these these are like a mustard yellow and it's textured as well. These are so freaking cute. I don't know what I'm going to wear these with, but I am so excited and I'm most likely, most likely gonna wear shorts so I can show off the entire shoe. These are so different and I feel like I'm so tired of buying the regular red, white, and black. Let's do something different. Let's get you some textured chucks. Yes essential and add some color i feel like i'm so basic sometimes this is super cute and it has like i don't even know what to, it's like um newspaper like you know when they like it's like that paper mache kind of or i'm just stupid but yeah these are super cute and they're so comfortable as well so i'm really happy i got these and these were on sale little burgundy go check them out mainly in stores online i feel like everything is sold out so if you ever want to go and get you some cheap cute textured chucks little burgundy toronto check them out next up are something that i've wanted for a very long time but i couldn't cave into it until now and i feel like it's going to be an obsession because once you get one you have to get like a new one every time they get dirty it's like me and converse i have so many pairs and have been through so many pairs but these were so needed when i come out in these fresh crisp air force ones if anyone tries and ruin my day by stepping on these you are going to have a bad day these are so cute such a staple piece not even for summer, but for every season. Everyone needs a pair of Air Force Ones. I love these. I think I'm going to customize these. I'm not sure how or what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely going to either keep these white and get other ones and customize them, but I do wanna dab into customizing some Air Force Ones just to make it more me. But I do like the white, so I'm definitely gonna keep the white and I'm gonna purchase another one and customize them. I don't know if I'm going to do black or I'm going to do like a color or pink or something, but these are definitely staples. Highs or lows, but I definitely do like the lows. These are my first Air Force, so I'm excited. And last but not least are something I've had my eyes on for a very long time, actually since before quarantine started. And I couldn't find them except except for like GOAT or is it StockX? But because I've never really gotten anything from them, I was very hesitant to get them. So when I saw them in store, it was literally fate until I was like, oh, I'll probably come back and get them. And then we were in quarantine for four months. Super sad, but I went back and they had them. And it was a beautiful day. I am so excited about these. These are the cutest shoes I have ever, ever owned in my life. Come on, these shoes are the best things ever. They are so comfortable because once again, they are Air Force Ones, but just a pop of color. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I don't know what I'm gonna wear with it, but I'm gonna wear something and it's going to be cute as hell. These are so freaking cute. I am so excited. These are a little big, so I'm gonna try and see if they have my size. 
if I could do like a size down or a half a size down, but I'm going to hold on to these until I get my size because I need these in my closet. If you want to see how I style these, you guys definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting more pictures. I'm going to try and stay more active on my Instagram. It's just so hard, but I will definitely make an effort. And that covers the video. If you guys made it to the end, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave some comments if you'd like to know anything about anything I've showed. Have yourself a great Monday. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Do not forget to subscribe and turn your post notifications on just so you guys are updated every time I post a video. I love you and I will see you guys next Monday. Thank you.